in uh, part way through installing a sump and pump with a float switch that will discharge the water in the event of a flood and the front barrier, garage barrier, not uh, working completely. Unfortunately for us at the moment, there's three layers of concrete uh, with four lots of reinforcing. Uh, we've sighted the pump in this, I'm saying bottom left-hand corner, the garage floor slopes from the back to the front and slightly from the right to the left. So point of ingress would be this point here, hence why we've sighted it. The outlet's going to come up the wall to 800, through the wall with the core bit, and discharge onto the uh, paving to the side. Uh, we've also started and put a fillet strip round most of the garage so far, prior to putting a tanking slurry on the wall, again up to the height of the barrier uh, leading into the kitchen. So slow progress, but we're getting there. Uh, unfortunately, you don't know what you're doing until you get through the first layer. I think James can show you that now. So still got a bit of a way to go to get the 600 deep um, sump installed. It's just that last little bit, because uh, we were saying, do I try and get it level? And I went on the floor, isn't it? No. no if, I, if I put that level, yeah. it, it, that's going to look silly anyway, it's yeah. going to be high or low. No. And it's better that it drains into it. That's yeah. very nice. So dry test, it's on. If you listen to the float. Oh yeah. It's not looking noisy, is it? No, in the grand scheme of things. Mm. Especially during a storm. Oh yeah, in a storm you don't care. No, exactly.